All right, friends. So you guys just watched Ash Ketchum talk about the three starter Pokemon. He had to choose whenever a Pokemon trainer first goes on a journey to catching them all, to playing other uh, gym challengers and other Pokemon trainers. You have to have the starter Pokemon. The starter Pokemon is the very first Pokemon that you get that helps you on your journey in case you run into a wild Pokemon, in case you uh, want to try and get badges and you want to challenge people. So the three that you see, that you saw in that video were Bulbasaur, which is a green grass type Pokemon. As you can see what we learned last week with the um, nature and art, it's right here. And then there's leaves on his face and stuff like that. And he is what we call a grass type Pokemon. Then you have Squirtle, which is inspired from a turtle, because if you see, he has a turtle shell. He has a turtle shell and he's blue. His type is water type, so he can shoot out water from his tail or from his hands as well. So there is Squirtle. And then we have everyone's favorite, Charmander, as a starter Pokemon, which is a type of lizard. And he has fire coming off of his tail, so he's a fire type Pokemon. So these are the three options that you get. In that episode, Ash got to choose a Pikachu because Professor Oak was experimenting and created Pikachu, which is a mouse electric Pokemon. If you guys look at a Pikachu tail, it looks like a little thunderbolt, okay? But that is not considered one of the three starters. So what we're going to do is all week or all month, really, you've been learning about different combinations to make into Pokemon. We started off with combining two of your favorite animals. We then learned about dessert as Pokemon, and then we learned about nature in Pokemon. So what you guys are going to do next is you're going to take um, some time today to create your very own three starter Pokemon. So I'm going to do this so that I have it neatly spaced out. This is what exists in the Pokemon world already. Bulbasaur, Squirtle, and Charmander you guys are going to create your very own starter Pokemon and pretend that we or me, next time I see you guys, I have to choose one of your starter Pokemon to start me on my journey. The first one that you're going to do is going to be um, two animals combined. Okay, then you're going to do your favorite dessert. and then nature. So what I'm gonna do is what we've been doing the last month of school. I'm gonna think about my two favorite animals and I'm gonna make mine into a cat and a turtle. So first I'm gonna draw the shell of the turtle. I'm gonna add some texture there, some details. And then for the legs, it's actually gonna have claws on them, like a, like cat claws. And then for the head, it's gonna be a circle and it's gonna have cat ears, cat whiskers, and it's gonna have really big teeth. That is my cat and turtle, two animals combined Pokemon. Now I'm gonna think about my favorite dessert and I'm actually gonna make a dessert out of a lollipop. So I'm gonna draw a really big lollipop. And instead of just the stick, it's gonna have a bunch of little sticks in there, almost like thorns. And my favorite type of lollipops are swirls. So I'm gonna draw a swirl here in the middle and its eyes are gonna be on top. And its mouth is gonna be right here. So that's my dessert Pokemon. And then for nature, I'm gonna think of a palm tree and I'm gonna draw basically a body and I'm gonna draw like the top of a palm tree. It's gonna be a potato <laughs> and a palm tree combined as my Pokemon. So these are my three starter Pokemon. We have the cat turtle Pokemon. The last thing we always do is name our Pokemon and I'm gonna call it this one. Curdle, which is a cat from the sea from cat and turtle from turtle. And for this one, we're gonna call this one Lolly. 
And for the last Pokemon that I made, I'm gonna call this Paltato. Okay, so I have Curdle, Loli, and Paltato. Those are my three starters. Now it's your turn. When you guys are working on this, I'm gonna give you guys about 10 minutes to work on it. And then raise your hand as you finish so that you can share it to the whole class. Um, if you have any crayons or colored pencils or anything to color with, go ahead and do that too. And I will see you guys next time.